Oh yeah, Shadow Gain. So it begins. The last thing that you remember is standing before the wizard, Lakmir, as he waved his hands. Now you find yourself staring at an entryway which lies at the edge of a forest. Well, he could've just teleported me to the fucking end, couldn't he? How would he teleport me to the victory screens? The druid's words ring in your ears. Within the castle, Shadowgate, lies your quest. Hopefully that victory lies in there too, and maybe a reward. The dreaded warlock... L just lord? Okay. No, Warlock Lord. Just dreaded, no comma, dreaded Warlock Lord. Alright. <laughs> Will use his black magic to raise the behemoth from the depth, the dark depths. Oh, that's pretty scary stuff. It's like basically the basement. I don't know how I imagine any Dungeons and Dragons fan would be. Combination of his evil arts and the great titan's power will surely destroy us all. Only two exclamation points for that. You are the last of the line of kings, the seed of prophecy that was foretold eons ago. Only you can stop the evil one from... Du okay, faster. Darkening our world forever. Fare thee well. Yes, yet. Okay. I'm definitely gritting my teeth and waiting for this poor torch to go out. Gritting my, your teeth, you swear by the god, your gods... You know, they can't, can't just be, it has to be politically correct. So just any god. Name that you will destroy the Warlock Lord. It doesn't even get a name. Alright, I was gonna open up his skull, that's what you usually do. Alright, I'm not gonna read this. You can read this shit. I'll take this. I mean, this is basically like the equivalent of putting a key under your doormat. Use this key. I guess use the key? Like, because, ah. Uh. <laughs> Stop asking me questions. Oh, okay, so I don't get to use it on there. Re okay. Yeah, that's neat. Wait, wasn't he a druid a couple minutes ago? That pitiful wizard, Lakmir, was a fool to send a buffoon like you to stop me. And surely I must I surely am a buffoon if I have to open doors. The opening door button. Yeah, you can read the rest of that. The sound of maniacal laughter echoes in your ears. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna take a torch. Yeah, meanwhile, you're putzing around, telling me about how I'm gonna die. I'm stealing your shit in your castle, stealing your torches. Yep, still can't do that. Have to keep opening doors separately from moving through them. Oh, so it's, oh, this was locked. That's great. <laughs> great. <clears throat> no, not even guards. Not even, not even two guards. Not even a guard. Let's take a look at this key here. This door. This door is only an inch thick. It surely is very sturdy. <clears throat> is this the key? Yeah, this is the key I had before. <clears throat> Stone walls seem uncomfortably close as you walk down the stairs. Torch looks a little different. I'm gonna open this book because it killed me the last time I tried to take it. Oh, they could have really, really just re truncated most of this. Open. Okay. 
Not sure there's any point to this. Hold on, what the? Okay, it's not fighting with me. You can't take- oh my god, it's serious. Nothing happens. Give me the torch. Holy moly. Spiraling staircase that I won't be able to see, but I'm sure it was really cool. Of the undead, wow. Well, that one on the right looks legit, but at this time I'm going to take the one on the left. This is one of the undead. This wraith here is just, oh, he's just gonna chill? Okay, hold on. It's a shadow wraith, a hideous specter who eternally walks the line between life and death. Yeah, you can kinda talk to him. He sounds cool. He doesn't seem to understand what you're saying. <laughs> Needs to take an ESL class. Yeah, well, let's let's take care of his ass. Use. Okay, so I just get to automatically use that here rather than before. I couldn't simply open a book and take out the key. I had to open the book and then take the key. Seen him like he was eternally walking something between the life and death, was he? Not anymore, at least. Alright, I'll just take all this stuff here. Still looting your shit, Lord. Warlock Lord. Still not dead. Taking your cloak. Right off your, uh. coat rack. Yeah, I'm gonna go right through. Turn off this horrible music. <laughs> the small stone chamber is lined on one side by two b barred portals. That's it? That's all he has to say about this place? Let's go one is in hand. Oh, one is in hand. Oh, two is in hand. Okay. And also steal this torch. Thank you. This rope. And, oh, it's serious? Have if it's comfortable where it is. <clears throat> Let's take a look around. Look at this. Epor. Okay. Yeah, it seems to be some sort of magic word. Really? It's just just rope spell backwards. Is that how spells work? Just say the backwards. Like back masking. Let me take a guess. I have to go use the spell from this menu. Yeah, of course. Right. Damn right. That makes you wonder if the spell can be used to help. Uh, Solve problems with ED. I'm going over here. Hey, no, I'm not. Fuck you. I'm not going through there, cuz wall. This, this room actually bugged the hell out of me a lot when I was a kid played this because the two doors here and or two windows here and here if you open them you just die instantly and you actually require an object that's a, a, a blunt for blunt trauma or blunt object of some kind to break it not including this broom of course which is just weird 
I can't remember what the broom is actually used for, if anything at all. So we're just gonna back off. And just because it's Halloween, it's pretty scary shit right there. As you open the tomb, a banshee flies out and emits an ear-shattering scream. You're alright. <laughs> of course! But it's very hard to hear. 